medical practices, we often use routines based on clinical experience and established practice guidelines. For example, in the evaluation of a patient with a pink eye, we use certain tools and flags to determine whether ophthalmology is required. In our evaluation of ankles, we use the Ottawa Ankle Rule to determine if imaging is required. This use of careful selection of testing based on scientific evidence is coined choosing wisely. In our own practice, we noticed a lack of guidelines around the investigation of shoulders, and we often felt that imaging was being done unnecessarily. The literature does support more selective use of imaging in family medicine, as well as supporting a more careful clinical examination. In our own practice audit, we found that 90% of the ultrasound imaging that was required did not change our diagnosis or management. Through this pilot, we hope to study and evaluate our clinical procedure and tool, and in the end, with having an ultrasound as the gold standard for each patient, determine if this tool can be validated for more future judicious use of imaging. Lastly, if this pilot can set up the framework for a larger study, we hope to have a tool for family practice sharing, and perhaps we can introduce this tool as the Hamilton Shoulder Rule.